What does it mean to integrate the quadratic formula with some disrespect to B? It's day 19 of Mathmas, and today we're gonna go ahead and review the quadratic formula, kind of like the last video we did. But in this case, we're gonna go ahead and integrate with respect to B. Now you already know it's the classic problem right here. The quadratic formula shows up in so many areas of mathematics that if you don't know how to do this, then you're not fit to be a math student. And I hate that I'm saying that, but really, you gotta know how to work the quadratic formula. Now I was reading a lot of the comments and you guys were asking what real life application is there? And I don't know, I was thinking perhaps this can be a differential equation where the X is changing with respect to that should have been a B right here. And that's going to equal to this quadratic formula. So the point is we got to move the DB to the other side by using separation of variables and then go ahead and integrate it. And that's kind of cool. And to be honest, I graphed this function and it's not that exciting. I'm going to go ahead and put it here on the screen. And I did it for both the positive when it's being added for that discriminant or the quadratic term which doesn't really give you any nice results, but then I did the minus part and that one looked a little better. So that's how the graph looks. I mean, we could do what we want with that, but let's go ahead and start integrating. That's what we're here for. So what we have right now is we have everything divided by 2a. So I'm gonna go ahead and separate it. Negative b over 2a plus or minus, uh, I should maybe put a db right here, plus or minus integral from root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And before I even continue, one thing I wanted to mention is that I want a and I want c to be positive. a and c have to be positive. In other words, I want it to be greater than zero. I don't want it to be equal to zero because then this will be too easy of a problem and I don't want this to be negative or I don't want the product to be negative because then I'm gonna have a different result. So I'm gonna assume that this is always gonna be positive. So for this one, I mean, we can easily integrate this using power rule. This will become negative b squared over 4a plus or minus, and we're done with that. Now we just have to integrate this part. Let's go ahead and bring the 2a on the outside since it's a constant. So we're really trying to integrate this problem right here, b squared minus 4ac with some disrespect to b. Well, guys, we're gonna go ahead and use trigonometric substitution. Trig substitution because I have the variable squared minus this constant squared. So when I draw out my right triangle, again, because we have the variable squared minus the constant squared, I wanna use secant. So my hypotenuse is gonna be b, and this part right here is gonna be two root AC. So what I did is I took the square root of four, and I took the square root of AC. And then this opposite side will be root b squared minus 4ac. You can actually um, get this through Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so now we can go ahead and say that secant theta is equal to my opposite over my uh, adjacent, or I'm sorry, my hypotenuse over my adjacent. So b over 2 root ac, but I'm just going to go ahead and multiply it to the other side already. So that's what I have right here. And now we can go ahead and differentiate. So we have 2 root ac, secant theta, tan theta, d theta is equal to my differential db, and that's gonna prove really useful because you guys already know we're gonna use it for that one. Okay, so now we need an expression that's gonna represent root b squared minus 4ac. Well, that's tangent because we have this that has a variable and this one that has a bunch of constants. So we're gonna say tangent of theta is equal to the opposite, which is this whole thing, root b squared minus 4ac over the adjacent, which is over here, but I'm just gonna multiply it to the other side already. So that's gonna give me two root ac. And now we found the value that we need. That should have a c right here. Okay, let's go ahead and start rewriting our integral. We have negative b squared over 4a plus or minus one over two a integral. And then we're gonna go ahead and rewrite this as this right here. We have two root ac, tangent of theta times our differential db, which is gonna be this whole thing. So two root ac, secant theta, tan theta, d theta. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about this. Well, we're gonna multiply these two. That's gonna be this times this, that's gonna be two, uh, four ac, but then you're gonna bring it on the outside, so it's gonna cancel out with the two and the a. So if you have negative b squared over four a, plus or minus, and now we're actually gonna have just 2c, because remember the four cancel out with the two, and then the a will cancel out with the a here. We are left with the c integral. And now what we have is we have tan squared times secant uh, theta, tan theta. Then that's gonna become tan squared. I was already getting ahead of that. So that becomes secant theta, 
tan square theta d theta and we're almost done guys we just have to find the trig identity that's going to help us solve this well we know tan squared is one plus secant squared theta so we actually can rewrite this by distributing the secant theta to both the one and the secant squared so that's going to give us let's go ahead and go over here we have negative b squared over 4a plus or minus 2c and as i mentioned we have the integral of secant theta plus secant cubed theta d theta ah not bad well these are very special integrals that we should know and i talk about them in my book plenty of times secant theta is going to become that natural log of secant theta plus tan theta so let's go ahead and do that now so we have 2c times this entire thing it's the natural log of secant theta plus tan theta and then this one right here is actually the sum of half the uh, integral and half the derivative of secant theta so actually this is one half natural log of secant theta plus tan theta and then plus one half secant theta tan theta and guys this is going to be it but we're actually going to have to rewrite this in terms of b's so what we have right now is we have negative b squared over 4a plus and then we still have the 2c on the outside this right here is uh if you don't know this this is the same thing so we're just going to go ahead and add these together that's three halves natural log of now let's talk about the secant theta remember secant theta will be b over this entire thing so we have b over 2 root ac plus our tangent which was root b squared minus 4ac all over 2 root ac we close that out and now we still have this one half secant theta tan theta so we have plus one half b over 2 root ac times root b squared minus 4ac all over 2 root ac and all that is being added to your constant and now we're going to finish it off guys this will be it because we have negative b squared over 4a plus and now let's go ahead and distribute the 2c to this well it's going to cancel out with the 2 so we really have 3c natural log and then we can combine this because they have common denominators so this will become b plus root b squared minus 4ac all over 2 root ac which kind of looks like the original quadratic formula and then we have plus we're multiplying the 2c to this one half that's just going to give us c b and then root b squared minus 4ac all over this times this so that's going to be 2 times all this times this that's going to be 8 a c uh no but then i did not multiply the one half cancel out i take that back it's just going to be four a c and then plus your d in this case and guys we have officially if you're here at the very end completed the integral of the quadratic formula with respect to b